Hey y'all, this is Mama Loves Frogs. I'm here to uh, give you some tips on ways to feed African dwarf frog tadpoles because they're hard as crap to raise, apparently. But the way that I've been doing it, and I, yes, I know it looks dirty. There's a dime underneath there for um, size reference. But the way I've been doing it, I've been feeding them New Life Spectrum Grow Fry Starter. And you can see it's like a powder. And after my first, I've discovered that if you mix it up with a little bit of water and then you put it in a dropper. And what I do is just that gets it because where they're filter feeding you don't need it just hanging out on there you need it to disperse through the water and obviously with water concern water quality concerns as bad as mine looks you don't want to overfeed Now watch them here in a minute. Interesting little tidbit. Whenever you see them jet forward really quick, that's actually them eating. Because where they filter feed and the, um, the force of the suction, whenever they bring it in, propels them forward. So whenever you see them sitting there going whoop, whoop, whoop forward, they're actually eating. And I'll put y'all a um, link to where you can get that food. And I just put, let's see, um, about yay much water with about a fingernail, like a cut fingernail, like not big long fingernails, but like a cut fingernail um, of the powder spooned out and mixed in there and this seems to be doing the best now you see the brown on the bottom that is just in the bottom that's not um, making masses it's a thin layer that's on the bottom of the glass and what I do which I didn't do all the way today my boy's been crazy. And I'll show you this later on too. But I take a brush. Regular old. And I'll use that and I'll gently, ever so gently, drag that across the bottom. <clears throat> Which I need to feed him over. Oh, we get music for it. Now, that little mixture that I've made up, I'm only going to keep it for two days. And probably if I wasn't a cheapskate, I should probably only keep it just one day. Because that stuff is good, too. You can tell it's good because it stinks. <laughs> it's got really good ingredients. That's one little tip. Now here in the next um, day or two, I'm gonna switch them over. Well, maybe not like slow, make the transition over to live food. And that's a dime there, I already said that. But you might as well get used to chitlins in the background because I'm, my son is never away from me. So it's just gonna have to be part of it. But there's the first little tidbit. I never, um, I always keep extra ha water handy. That's, um, well right now they're on the kitchen table. But I always keep water put to the side. I don't use chemicals. I uh, um, actually use, from the very, very beginning, whenever I first, I just took water out of the 
the parent's frog tank and I used that to put water in this tank. That way it would have the same water temperature, same water quality, everything like that. And then for the first few times where the adults can handle the water change, I just used water from the adults tanks and I used that to slowly put into the tadpole tank. That way I know it's the same temperature, the same water quality. The frogs can handle it. I keep a um, gallon jug of water tucked in the kitchen cupboard. That way it's always the same room temperature as the frog tank in here in the kitchen. And then it naturally gets rid of the chlorine because it's been sitting there. So those are my first little tips for the beginning of it to get you through the beginning of it. And I just try to, I, um, 